all measurements should be made on the right side of the body with the subject standing upright. Triceps, vertical fold, on the posterior midline of the upper arm, halfway between the acromion and the olecranon process, with the arm held freely to the side of the body. Subscapular, diagonal fold at a 45 degree angle, 1 to 2 centimeters below the inferior angle of the scapula. Chest pectoral, diagonal fold. One half the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for men, or one third of the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for women. Mid axillary, vertical fold on the mid axillary line at the level of the siphoid process of the sternum. An alternate method is a horizontal fold taken at the level of the siphoid sternal border in the mid axillary line. Abdominal, vertical fold, two centimeters to the right side of the umbilicus. Superiliac, diagonal fold in line with the natural angle of the iliac crest taken in the anterior axillary line immediately superior to the iliac crest. Thigh, vertical fold. On the anterior midline of the thigh, midway between the proximal border of the patella and the inguinal crease, the hip. Caliper should be placed directly to the skin surface, one centimeter away from the thumb and finger, perpendicular to the skin fold, and halfway between the crest and the base of the fold. Pin should be maintained while reading the caliper. Wait one to two seconds, not longer, before reading the caliper. Take duplicate measures at each site and retest if duplicate measurements are not within one to two millimeters. Rotate through measurement sites or allow time for skin to regain normal texture and thickness. When determining body density, two different formulas exist, one for men and one for women. Lastly, to determine body fat, two different equations exist as well, the Brosic formula and the Siri formula.